Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is May 10th, 2022. And in yesterday's video, we said that we were going to prepare for a bounce in Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets. And today it seems as if we have indeed gotten that bounce. Question is, is this bounce sustainable? Will it result in further positive price action, or is this just a brief respite before lower lows? All right. If you want the answer to that, according to my analysis, then watch until the very end. All right. I'm on the daily chart, and I have this green box, and I put this green box in yesterday, and this is essentially uh, illustrating a huge demand zone for Bitcoin. Okay, and we've hit this demand zone three times. Uh, twice in in the previous few years, okay, we uh, used it in December of 2020, right? And that was basically the lows of our wave four correction before making our first all time high um, of the 2020s of 60k, right? Uh, around 60k. Then we used it again in the summer of 2021, May, June, and July for this a of b all right this this first uh wave of our b wave right and then finally we're using it once again here one year later almost exactly one year later we're using that demand zone once again and my thing is it's very likely that this is the place the macro low that catapults us to the top of this range. Now, if we zoom in, can we see any evidence that this trend, this, this short term trend will continue? So let's zoom in really quickly to the hourly time frame. And one thing I want to point out is you just look at the volume. The volume is serious. And this is one of the reasons why it's very likely a macro bottom uh, to this downtrend, given that we're putting in volume that we haven't seen since December of 2021. Okay, if we zoom out, I'll show you that really quickly. Just look at this volume profile and look at when the last time we've had such such high volume in the charts, right? And this is, uh, sorry, February of this year. Uh, was close, but then if you zoom out even more, you'll see that the last time we've had really big volume was indeed a, in December of 2021 right here, okay? So this this is major volume that we're getting at this area, and we're expecting it to because a lot of people have buy orders set or had buy orders set between 29 and 32K. And so when we, re when we visit those areas, we were anticipating a lot of buy orders to be filled. All right. And so this is what we're seeing on the charts. Now, not only is the volume showing us capitulation of the downtrend and a reversal of the downtrend to uh, up an uptrend. And you can see this really uh, well on the hourly time frame because you see that the capitulative candle was big, but the buy candle was even bigger. That really shows you a change in trend, okay? So am I saying that this will continue and just up, break up and out of this green box, this area of demand without retesting the middle or even the lows of this? I'm not saying that. This is very well uh, possible, okay? It can be that as we test the tops of this demand zone, we reject briefly, come back and and uh, sort of create a a counter to this initial break of structure and then pivot up and out. Or we can just come up and out, okay? I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. All I know that this zone, generally speaking, is highly probable to be our low, 
it's highly likely that this was the low, this was the reversal. This is where we can anticipate Bitcoin to find support for our next big move up, okay? And so uh, another thing I wanna draw your attention to is the stochastic RSI. Going back on the daily time frame, uh, this indicator, this is one of the few indicators that I use that I, I feel uh, is quite simple and very effective, okay? All indicators can be effective. It's just a you know personal preference. I like to keep it you know very simple. And I like to use primary indicators like the volume indicator, right? It's not an indicator of indicators. It just shows you what's going on. Now, the stochastic RSI is also quite simple. And it's showing me the momentum of price action. And when it goes into uh, the, this region from about zero to 20, it's showing me that the asset is oversold, okay? And so on the daily time frame, we're not only oversold, but we've crossed bullish, right? You have your blue line crossing above your pink line. So this to me is another bottom indicator, given that this is on the daily time frame. If we go on the weekly time frame, we'll see that we've we've come into this oversold territory as well, right? On the stochastic RSI and on the chart, we we see a repetition of what we saw before, right? wicking into this demand zone, wicking into this demand zone. Once again, wicking into this demand zone. When you see wicking, it's strong buy pressure. Also, there's not much time spent here because there's such strong buy pressure. Now, uh, during the live stream later today at 4 to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to talk about why this is not the, the last time we're going to visit this zone okay but in the immediate short term medium short term i'm anticipating a move up and out to much higher prices okay so that's pretty much it for me on bitcoin i do believe that this was the bounce right is this uh going to be the bounce that takes us up and out of the demand zone maybe maybe not uh can we dilly dally uh for a few more hours into this demand zone absolutely but i'm a buyer in this zone this is the proverbial bottom that people have been looking for and are people going to be scared to buy it absolutely but people are always scared to buy the bottoms no matter how much evidence there is just you know that's how markets work uh and if we look at our altcoins really quickly uh, we'll look at Ravain. Ravain hasn't done much. Uh, it has indeed bounced, but given that it's a lower cap altcoin, you can expect capital to be rushed into this asset until the bigger players show uh, significant signs of strength. So I'm not expecting Ravain to show um, much of um, a recovery at this point right i'm i'm first looking for bitcoin like the top 10 to show strong recoveries and then money kind a capital kind of uh, it, it it flows out of the bigger players to smaller players so that's what i'm expecting but you can also see a reversal in ravine here and on the four hourly time frame you can see that strong uptrend okay so that is pretty much ravine I'm seeing the same thing in Kadena. Kadena put in a very nice V-shaped recovery. And still, you know, the question is, uh, are we going to come back down in these regions, right, to test these regions before moving back up? That's possible. But you have a very nice V-shaped recovery here on the four hourly time frame. And if you go in smaller time frames, like the hourly, you can see that you're putting in you know, nice higher highs and higher lows, and you're about to make a macro higher high, right? Which would be breaking the downtrend, right? So if you put in a trend line here, you're close to coming and breaking this downtrend, which would be a significant, actually the downtrend is more like this. This would be a clear sign of uh, a break of trend okay so that's what you're looking to do in all of these assets if you make a trend line from the downtrend you're 
pretty much looking to break, retest, and then pump up. All right. So that is Kadena. Nice recovery, V-shaped recovery there. And in VRA, same thing. You're seeing a nice V-shaped recovery, right? With lots of good volume, strong green candles, okay? And, you know, ever since the low that it posted yesterday, you've gotten a quick 29%, okay? So in these recoveries, the, the dumps were severe. The dumps were intense. They went down further than a lot of people anticipated. People that, you know, believe that the markets are going to go up in May and probably in June as well. Now, just as they went down very severely and we had really, really red days uh, with a downtrend of, you know, 20%, 30%, expect the uptrend to be as fierce, okay? If you had... 10%, 20% down days, expect 30, 40% up days. Okay. And you can see that already, right? Since yesterday in this asset veracity, you already put 28% in, right? 28% to the upside. So this uptrend can be very strong and I think it will. All right. So that's pretty much it for me for the daily update. Please join me later on for the live stream, the weekly live stream. Uh, it's going to be between 4 and 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to set the time <clears throat> a little later. Uh, but please stay positive. You know, put your energy into really analyzing your strategy. Stick to your plan if you think you have a good plan. Uh, block out the noise. You know, just really stay positive. Things will be okay. All right. I'll take... Uh, any questions of, about altcoins and whatever you guys think are, are thinking about the markets later on during the live stream. Take care, everyone. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.